From 1933 to 1934, Dr. Shigeyoshi Matsumai, the founder of Tokai University, studied telecommunications technology in Europe, the United States, and Southeast Asia. Dr. Matsumai studied the teachings of Nikolai Grundtvig in his beloved Denmark and observed public school secondary education there. After returning to Japan, he opened a private school, the Danish folk high school Bosei Gakujuku, which formed the foundation of today's Tokai University. The origins of Tokai University are unmistakably to be found in Denmark. Dr. Matsumai, who loved Denmark dearly, established Tokai University European Center in September 1970 in the suburbs of Copenhagen to serve as a base for academic and cultural exchange. Newspapers and radio considered this big news at the time and introduced the center to the Danish public. Opening the center was approved by the Danish government, the Danish Ministry of Education and many people throughout Denmark, all of whom contributed to its success. The reception held upon the founding of the center was filled with many now familiar faces, having a good time. The center has since established a brilliant record as a base for international cultural exchange through its many activities over the years. In September 1971, when Emperor Showa and the Empress of Japan traveled in Europe, they visited the Kingdom of Denmark and were given a warm welcome. Because of the close relationship between Dr. Matsumai and the Emperor and Empress, their Imperial Highnesses visited the center during their busy schedule. And this visit constituted a stamp of approval for the center's activities. The people of Denmark warmly greeted the Emperor and Empress, and this played an important role in promoting friendship and goodwill between the two countries. The cultural exchange activities of Tokai University European Center progressed with great dynamism. In October 1971, an exhibition of Japanese books was held at the Royal Library. The exhibition featured many leading books from Japan and attracted numerous visitors. The books on ukiyo-e, Kyoto and Mount Fuji proved especially popular. To commemorate the book exhibition, Dr. Matsumai donated an antique samurai helmet. Tokai University European Centre continued to promote a range of activities as it expanded its buildings and facilities. The Japanese house and tea room were soon completed. The reception held to commemorate the completion of the Japanese tea room was honoured by the attendance of Her Royal Highness Princess Margareta and other members of the royal household, the government and Ministry of Education, all of whom had a good time. How would you like a cup of Japanese tea? To sit Japanese style in order to receive the tea might be painful. Here we have Dr. Matsumai and newly appointed President Tatsuru Matsumai talking in a conference room at the center. The center was introducing traditional Japanese culture to the people of Denmark and Northern Europe. And in autumn 1972, the decision was made to hold a Japan Week every year. The opening ceremonies for the inaugural Japan Week attracted many people and comprised a splendid launch for the event. The traditional Japanese performing art of Bunraku, puppet theater, Princess Margaretha attended the performance held at ABC Hall and watched Bunraku with interest, performed by high school students from Japan.
The performance was a success, and the students received warm applause from the packed hall. Tatsuro Matsumai, newly appointed president of the center and currently Tokai University Educational System president, made a comprehensive tour of the Kingdom of Denmark and presented a report to the university and to Japanese research organizations. With a particular focus on agriculture, he visited farmers, worked with them and gained actual experience. He investigated the technology being used, the systems and natural features of the land, and made a report on the prosperity of Danish agriculture. These reports contributed greatly to the development of agricultural studies at Kyushu Tokai University. President Tatsuro Matsumai enjoying an evening talk with a Danish farmer at whose house he stayed. Tokai University European Centre celebrated its 10th anniversary in 1981. Many events were held at the centre to commemorate this anniversary. This is the Totsuka Embroidery Exhibition from Japan, for which the opening ceremonies attracted a great many people. People expressed surprise and admiration at the beauty of the Japanese embroidery with its detailed and varied stitching. On-site demonstrations attracted avid interest from many gentlemen too. This is a scene from the 10th anniversary party. The party attracted visitors to the exhibition and people with strong ties to the European Centre. Tokai University was the first university in Japan to establish a centre in Europe to genuinely promote international exchange activities. Ten years later, the activities of the center grew from introducing Japanese culture and holding exhibitions to the hosting of various symposia on themes that dealt with the future of humanity and the earth, promoting civilian diplomacy along with other efforts. The result of these efforts has been steady progress and a dynamic expansion centered upon Denmark. This is the Japanese book exhibition held in October 1985 at the University of Copenhagen. This book exhibition was very well received and supported. The European Centre also houses many Japanese books that can be used by the public. The Japanese book exhibition travelled from Denmark to Bulgaria, Belgium and other European countries. This is the Japan Today Symposium. Many people from all walks of life gathered in a lecture hall at the University of Copenhagen with their interest in Japan, the common link. Talks were given on various themes, from Japanese politics to Japanese economy, society and culture. Exchange on a private civil level was carried out, contributing to international goodwill and creating positive effects for the near future. A ceremony was held in October 1986 to celebrate the center's 15th anniversary as the center headed into a new age. Year by year, the scope of activities has grown at the European Center. The content has become richer and more varied and the center's reputation for international exchange is now well established. This is a scene from the reception. Dr. Shigeyoshi Matsumai's lawyer friend of many years, Bondo Tsvane, offered sincere words of congratulations in a magnificent toast. After resounding applause, the two old friends renewed their ties of friendship, proof of the strong bonds that have developed between Denmark and Tokai University. As the feature of the 15th anniversary program of the European Centre, top flight researchers from around the world were invited to participate in an international peace symposium. 
Many important issues were discussed at this symposium, including disarmament, particularly nuclear disarmament, reducing the antagonism between the East and West and North and South, and peace surveillance activities from space using satellites. The next symposium focused on legal approaches towards creating an orderly world market and economy. It was held in November 1987. Tokai University educational system continues to be active on a global level in this age of split-second communications, increasing complexity and globalization. This symposium also reflects the spirit of the university in raising the issues of the interpretation and application of laws from an international standpoint in an effort to reach resolutions. It was the long-term strategy of Tokai University to establish a new school similar to the folk high schools in Denmark. This shows the Minister of Education, Bertil Harder, and Dr. Shigeyoshi Matsumai discussing the establishment of the school. The minister promised full cooperation, and preparations to build the school progressed rapidly. The second International Peace Studies Symposium was held in November 1987. Discussions were further pursued to realize world peace, with impressive conclusions. Tokai University hosted the Asian and Pacific University Presidents' Conference and many other international symposia were organized by Tokai University Educational System in its pursuance of the realization of world peace. April 1988 marked an historic time for Denmark and Tokai University. This marked the half century since Dr. Shigeyoshi Matsumai had first come into contact with Denmark's folk high school education system. Here we have the first school entering ceremony of the long-awaited Denmark school attached to Tokai University. The strength and beauty of the folk high school education system in Denmark, which restored the country after World War II, was here being reborn. These faces demonstrated that Tokai University was achieving its long-held dream. The future is limitless for the students who will study and grow at the Danish school. Since the school's establishment, Tokai University has endeavored to make it an ideal school, establishing the educational system for the Danish school and continuing to build new facilities and contribute new equipment. We have confidence and pride in entrusting our future to these children. December 1993, Tokyo. On this day, the president of Tokai University Educational System, Tatsuro Matsumai, is awarded the Knight Cross First Class of the Order of Danebrog from Denmark. This worthy award is being given in recognition of President Matsumai's long service in the name of friendship between Denmark and Japan and the promotion of academic and cultural exchange. The peaceful and friendly ties that have been established between Denmark and Tokai University are now set to develop even further. A call at the port of Copenhagen by Tokai University research and training vessel, Bose Maru, and many events were held in Copenhagen to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the founding of the center. People from Tokai University and around Denmark are ushering in a new age and renewing their commitment toward an auspicious future. We will continue this glorious exchange with confidence and with pride. <laughs>